WordPress 6.6 .6 is set to be released on the 16th of July. And one of the features in this release is the addition of negative margins. While this may seem like a subtle change, it promises to be incredibly useful. Previously, negative margins could only be applied through code, either in CSS or via the theme.json file in your theme. Now with the release of version 6.6, .6, you can now set negative margins directly in the UI, wherever margins are available or adjustable on a block. And some feedback suggests there may be issues with mobile responsiveness. While this may be true, I believe the current state of core development makes it robust enough for effective use in responsive design. So in this video, I'll demonstrate four techniques for using negative margins to enhance your designs. So let's dive in. So let's start with the first example. First ensure your view is set to mobile view. This helps to make responsive design decisions. Immediately after the call to action, add a group block, set the padding to 50 pixels to give it some space. Inside the group block, add a columns block and set this to two columns to ensure it stacks well on mobile. In the first column, add an image, style it with some radius corners and drop shadow or whatever you wish. And in the second column, add a paragraph of text styled to your liking. Select the parent group, go to settings, scroll down to margin and select the top margin. Choose the units and input a negative number. This pulls the block into the adjacent block above, which has a different color contrast, breaking up the design nicely. Now check the layout on desktop. If there are any issues, resolve them by selecting the columns block and setting it to a wide width. Then align the text horizontally to the middle. Ensure the column is selected. Go to settings and add some block spacing to give the columns some air. Check between desktop and mobile views and make any necessary adjustment. Now if the text is too close to the image, select the text and go to the margin setting, select top and increase it just to push it away from the image. Again, check both desktop and mobile views again to ensure everything looks okay. In the next example, we'll duplicate the box and swap the columns around. Style the image differently by adding a border and removing the border radius. Then set the color of the border that contrasts with the theme background, or better still, matches the theme background. Close some of the panels so you get a better view of the changes. Check mobile and desktop views, ensuring the design is consistent and visually appealing. For the second variation, add another group block under the call to action and align it to full width. Set the inner block to a cover block and align it to full width. Then from the media library, I've selected this curved transparent PNG with a strong magenta color background. Inside the cover block, add a separator and set it to an arbitrary pixel height. Set the overlay opacity to zero and reset the aspect ratio and margins to ensure the image fits the entire depth and width and removes any default setting. Immediately after, add another group block and set it to a full width and add a paragraph block and style the text and by sampling the magenta color from the curved image, apply it to the group block background. Select the settings for the block, reset the margins to pull the blocks together, creating a seamless magenta color background effect. And for the final touch, go to the cover block, select the top margin set to units and input a negative number. This pulls the group block into the adjacent block above, breaking up the horizontal design and adding a nice curve. Check your layout on both desktop and mobile views to ensure that everything looks okay. So in the next example, I'm using the 2024 theme and we have a subscribers block. Select the block and add another group block right before the subscriber block. And inside this group block, add an image, ensuring that the group block is set to full width and select an image from the media library. Set the image to full width and with the subscribers block selected, go to settings, Select the top margin, set to units, and input a negative number. This again pulls the group block into the adjacent block, breaking up the horizontal design. So there you have it. There's four examples of using negative margins to enhance your designs. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you like what you see, do give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And if you haven't already, why not consider subscribing? So until next time, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.